I'll be on. I mean, I post videos every day, more or less. You know, uh, uh, chunks of live streams. And as for the streams, I do have a schedule on um, Gilded that I might stick to, I might not. I got college starting in a week. A week and a half. So that might screw things up a little bit. And again, college is pretty fucking easy for me, so that it's not gonna screw it, screw it up that much. And I'll try to stick to it. Wait, what? I'm studying tourism and health hospitality. Or, well, hotel management to be exact. No, 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 no. No computer stuff. I did learn HTML and CSS and some PHP when I was, like, in middle school. A long fucking time ago. And I just don't have the nerves to sit there and look through the code anymore. For little fucking mistakes that, ru that ruin everything, so... Yeah, no fucking way I'm doing, dealing with that. So, but this is a good option. If you're a hotel manager, you can basically get a job anywhere in the world. Working... I don't really need to be a manager, I can do whatever in the hotel. Well, I, I am Serbian, but uh, I don't live in Serbia, I'm Bosnian. Republic of Srpska, so it's not the same. No, it's pretty easy, mate. It's Most of it's, it, it's common sense, you know. Yeah, you don't really have to study that much. Then again... You know, I am fairly knowledge knowledgeable about all the stuff. So the professors like me. Well, most of them. No, 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 I'm a Serb. I just live in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, we have three separate parts here. One's Serbian, one's uh, Croatian, one's Bosnian. We just live all, we just have, everyone lives in the same country. Yeah, Bosnia has a green up. Right. Yeah. Well, we are. I go a step further and say we're all the same people, if you want to call us Yugoslav Yugoslavians or whatever you want to call us. Serbs, Croatians and whatnot. If anyone, if you know history and you look back, you're gonna know, you're gonna see that we're the same people, basically. The only difference is religion. You know, the Croatians were a bit closer to the Catholic Church. And they mixed a lot with the Italians, so yeah. The Serbs were more uh, were closer to the Orthodox Church and to the Greeks. So we mixed more with them. And the Bosnians, of course, are the... Mixed more with the Turks. Uh, with the Ottoman Empire that, you know, held the territory for like 500 years. Nah, 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 no. I take no offense to that. Even people here are so fucking stupid they can't understand that simple fact. You have more throwing skill. There's a growing weapon on your troops under your command. Definitely for the infantry. I'm not sure how morale works in this. I haven't really seen it work. For me at least. It works for the enemy, that's for sure. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah there's a lot of guys visiting Serbia now. Or ho the whole Balkans. People really like our, our food. It's, it's That's the main thing, the food. And the drink, right. Because of course. Sell these guys and sell all the shit we got. Easy 24k. Can we finally piece these guys out? That's what I want to know. Nope. Can I? Can I? <laughs> yeah. Running into us is a fucking miracle. Or is it? Serves all, serves all over the place. At this point, there's a shitload. There's like a good amount of Serbs in Chicago, too. And base and uh, the Slavic people, like the ex-Yugoslavian people, are did basically take over Vienna. Half of fucking Vienna speaks one of our languages, which are all like you know. Well, the Russians are kind of different. What the hell is this not making money? Oh right, it's being besieged and taken over. I do want to see if I can... Yeah, I can give away, but... Uh, if you mean on the uh, Twitch and YouTube, uh, there's definitely, like, it's not that big of a thing uh, here, or, I mean, it is, but uh, the guys streaming it or making YouTube videos do speak in Serbian, and they're like a decade, a decade behind the other YouTubers, you know, the, you know, the American and English ones, you know, that started the whole thing. They're so fucking cringe. They're so like they're so fucking awful. It's unbelievable. But you know what can you do? Do want to uh, uh, get to 100 influence? So see if you can grab one of these. Huh. But we're not gonna have any support. So that's. Issue. Well, they're behind because uh, we just now figured out that you can actually do YouTube and live off comfortably, comfortably from it. Basically, it wasn't that long ago where you could just couldn't get paid here if you worked online, you know. And you're really getting a. Serbia just now implemented a uh, tax or cryptocurrency, for example. And here in Bosnia, we don't have a, any kind of tax on crypto. So you can take out as much as you fucking want, as long as it's not like a, a f big fuck off, some like 20k euros or dollars or something like that. They don't fucking care. You know, they're not gonna bat an eye for it. Which is fucking weird. Only problem here on YouTube is because you need to pay the uh, from the money you get from YouTube. You do need to like uh, pay a tax to America first, so you know you have to pay their tax. Then you get the money and you get taxed here. Well, uh, that's an issue. Uh, like third or uh, like we're not a, we're not a third world country, but we're not a first world country. You know, we're something in the, like. We're like in the in between. We're like the second world country, you know. Which you know is funny to say, but you know, that's kind of it.
Well, uh... In China, ban cryptocurrency for the last time. Now everything is banned. You can't do anything with it at this point. But guess what? All the cryptocurrency shit is gonna... Or the miners and all that shit... Shit is gonna move to Hong Kong. And uh, Vietnam and Taiwan and all the other ones. <laughs> right there. So that's, that's not gonna fix anything, right? Yeah, they're still getting some of these shitty units. I don't want. I don't want inside. But it's good for me. I don't have to pay tax on cryptocurrency. And I already took out a decent amount. Like 500 U... Well, not that much. 400 euros. Well, I do have some crypt. Uh, I do have some Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ethereum, and some. Here it's allowed. You, you just can't buy anything with it, so you have to like uh, sell it. But you don't get taxed when you sell it and turn it into fiat currency, which is odd. Yet, yet, which means any day they can just copy the laws from Serbia, and. Uh, I'm going to get a fine for who knows how much money or how much they want to like tax it or, you know, fine me because I didn't pay tax or who knows what. Never know. I'm not saving your ass this time. Fuck off. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about this. You know what? I might just ditch these, and once we go to war versus the northern or the southern southern is this the southern empire? Yeah, the southern empire. Just grab their cities. I do want to like grab Poros and maybe wherever you pronounce this, because they're kind of far away from the enemy like these cities here are golden because um, all the enemies have to go all the way around to get there uh, well I don't have enough to actually declare war on them I need a hundred influence to propose and we don't have any support for any of these these guys are gonna yeah, kind of wrecking us kind of I mean you saw how the AI does against them so let's spend one of these Okay, this is increasing in loyalty, finally. What about the other one? I mean, usually I don't have issues with this. The problem now is it's... Um, the culture is the problem, I guess. It'll take a while to fix it all up. And the problem is it's uh, getting raided all the time. Besieged and taken over. That's why I kind of want to... Uh, it's a real problem having settlements on the front line. That's why I want to like... I think in my last playthrough I had... Uh, which, which one was it? Forest Castle? Test... That, whatever that one's called, Castle, Argos, Senopa, and uh, I think this one. So that was pretty like central and secure. I can get to all of those in a short amount of time. And they weren't getting attacked all that much. Which was good. But that's because I was at war with uh, the Kuzites and the Asari. <laughs> Probably that's why, you know. 
most of the time. Oh, you know, that's that's a pain in the ass playthrough. You should go back and watch that playthrough. Like skip to like episode six and just watch me getting pissed off. I hate Skrimshire Cab. I hate Skrimshire Cab. <laughs> just saying that over and over again. I mean, I had one siege. Uh, I can't remember which city though. Um. Yeah, I think it's. I had one siege here. And I, while I was besieging this, I was attacked like five times by enemies. By enemy armies. So five times I had to fight in front of the city against Kumshakav till like till I could actually finally besiege it and grab it. It was a pain in the ass, but I did it. Somehow. Then again, the AI wasn't good at that at that point. I think they finally fixed the problem where the AI didn't have higher tier units. You only had like tier one, tier two. Which was a uh, look at that. He's happy. He's happy to see me. No, he's not. River crossing battle, the best. Oh shit. That wasn't the smartest of ideas. Okay, that, that was an overshot if I ever saw one. Fuck off. Did we forest? I didn't I don't think there was snow at that time, right? Oh yeah, this this is perfect. You just sit still there and I'm gonna shower you in lovely pila. Which isn't gonna kill him, but still. I mean, I guess you can... Uh, you can make a smaller box. Smaller, smaller shield wall, and they're gonna actually like warm us mini test studio. Yeah, look at that. So yeah, that is kind of what the studio. Yeah, that is the studio. I just kind of want to finish this for so we can actually like have some time for like you know calm down calm down the city and the castle and uh, get the garrison working fine or not working fine but like actually being what I needed to be Grazing Haggis. Now that's a name, man. 
Oh, that's a fucking name. One guy from UK, which we don't know where he is exactly. One guy from Scotland. All right, we got the experience. Oh, at a certain point in my life, I didn't want to try. Uh, well, I didn't want to try playing the. Why do I have the bagpipes? For a moment there, I forgot the name. And wearing a kilt. No one didn't want. No one didn't want to get me a kilt or uh, or bagpipes. So, you know, the time passed. <laughs> I don't want it. Fuck. Fuck you, game. Could you g give me something that's not on the front line? Okay. They have an army of 600 over there. Yeah, the lung capacity is a... Uh, the number one thing, right? And again, I could get a hurdy gurdy that's way easier, right? You know, just crank, uh, crank it on the one side and uh, play it like a piano on the other. Let's go get a cold one on me. Thanks for the sub, I think that is, right? I'm not even sure if all the fucking all, uh, overlay things are fucking working. Thanks for the sub, mate. And as for the kilt, like people, oh, you're gonna wear that? I'm a manly man, of course I'm gonna wear a kilt. Hey, wait, wait a minute, alright. Oh, I'm item settlement owner. Yeah, see ya, mate. Have a good night. Pretty fucking early in the morning, too. It's. Well, it's almost three for you. Wanna piece them out so we can actually consolidate this? Maybe like taking this wouldn't be half bad. If only I had the influence, right? Only 9 for 128 troops? Why the hell not? Let's see about the cost. Even though it's gonna take him forever to like get here. Yeah, probably the best if I take these two, right? Oh, I would wear a kilt just to piss people off. So, because that was my kind of thing, you know? Just piss people off as much as possible. Again, in the second year of high school, I had a red warhawk. And I think in the, in the third year of high school, I was blonde. Dyed blonde. Like Eminem. That pissed people off. <laughs> it was my thing. Oh my god. No, 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 my only hope that none of their actual lords are in the city. It has 400 troops in there. That might be an issue. Let's see if I'll get bum fucked by an enemy lord or army. And hopefully once we take this I can actually piece them out. See, we got some more influence.
and fall with pink tips. <laughs> I, I wasn't uh, for the like, uh, like a uh, high effort, pissing off of people. You know, just low effort, whatever you can you do, you know. Or whatever you can get away with, with the least amount of effort. Because everyone here is conservative, you know. Guys dying here? Oh my god, what the fuck are you thinking? You must be a drug addict, you know. Oh, for fuck's sakes. It's literally like playing Total War. If you get declared war on by one faction and you're kind of losing, you get declared war on by a second one, and a third one, and a fourth one. Because, you know, that's what happens. Wait a minute. Actually, that's... Probably don't have time, but let's skip the bedroom ram. You know, I... Yeah, there's a lot of them gathering up, so I'm probably not gonna... G yep. Yeah, it's literally endless sometimes. I don't think I'll be a quite a while. Oh yeah, these these guys are gonna bomb rushy. That's that, that's a, that's for sure. Maybe not. Oh god! Thank god. It's gonna take us long to get over there. We need to disband these. I already picked up my brother, right? Yes, I did. Read them. Now. Now I'm gonna re revoke both of these fives. Fuck them. They're not worth keeping. It would be freaking good if you got some influence from this. I mean, you're giving up your fives. The fucking bastards. Now, we have enough troops. Let's go over there and hope to God we can grab something for ourselves. Because like any city over here is going to be better than anything we got over there. But like, getting Epocrata or whatever, however you pronounce that, would be freaking perfect. Well... Maybe not. Because we're probably gonna go at, to war with Sturgia and the um, Dryatic. Dry That's gonna get bomb rushed first. If only we went to war with the Southern Empire, that would be perfect. God forbid that happened.
Only 683 in, in, uh, in workshop income. So that's one thing that I really wish they made better. Seems in this game you just really have to like have a shitload of castles and cities to actually make an income. A decent income that is. Uh, this is the... Well, it says in the title, right? Eagle Rising mod, yeah. You can just search it on Google and it's gonna pop up on Nexus mods. I have that. I have in the improved garrison mod, which really makes it easier so you can... Uh... Yeah, they don't have the workshop yet. There's the improved garrison mod. We can, where you can just like make a template and then uh, you're gonna get recruiters going around and recruiting those types of units for your garrison which is pretty fucking awesome so you don't have to do it manually and upgrade them too I have that I have the minimap mod which you know have the minimap in the game here so you can actually see where the enemies are Let's see if we can grab someone Or cheap. Let's grab her. I don't think we're gonna be able to grab that. Especially if the other armies are behind us. You can always join my Discord. I think there's a, there's a link in the description. I have all the like all the mods that I played, the playthroughs. I have the mods listed on them with the links and everything. I need to sell off the prisoners. We have enough food. That's fine. Now really the problem is we need to wait for our armies to get over there so they can drag the enemy off. Hopefully. I know that's not gonna happen. But the man can dream. Ask and you shall receive. Yes. Even though we're gonna get fucked over by both of them, because we can't fight on two fronts. At least now, we can hopefully bum rush Poros. Oh, come on, catch up, you piece of shit. If I only had more influence, because I don't think it's going to be enough. And then again, I am going to run into a couple of enemy lords, which I can take out. Oh, look at all these fucking bandits. Jesus Christ. I mean, it only has 400 troops in it. I mean, what's that? Nothing. Wait a minute, isn't there a castle over here somewhere? Not really. Yeah, usually the AI lets you peace out in, in the one that you're longer at war with. Usually you do have to pay a tribute though. Because, uh, like uh, when you went to, to get uh, to uh, put, uh, to let your dog out or whatever or get them back in, I pissed out with the other guys. Hmm. Yeah, come closer. Come closer. Ah, shit, we're too slow.
Which is sensible, you know? We saw one, the one, see? I don't know why we have 1% for these already. Zero for these. Even though we declared war, well, we did declare war on them. But the Northern Empire declared war on us. So maybe that makes a kind of a difference. There is a problem in the game where, um, like in my last playthrough of this, that's up on YouTube. Like I was fighting, I don't know, the Kazites or the Asari, I don't know. And I just, I took, I think it was the Kazites. I took all of their castles, all of, the, all, of, all of their cities, everything. They didn't have anything. And we were still at war with them. And they were still a faction, even though they didn't have a castle at all. Like no settlements at all. Which is fucking pain in the ass. So I did the sensible thing. I caught all of them, well, most of them, and killed them. Executed them. <laughs> that seems to be the only way you can get rid of a faction. Just execute all of them. Which is fucking funny, but what can you do? Oh, come closer. Come closer, you piece of crap. Okay, maybe I can get someone else. Not yet. Can't get rid of them. Fucking kill them all. So there's nothing to return. Go deal with my friends over there in some other part of the fucking world. Fuck off. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, run into me. Oh, God damn, we're too slow with this. I'm Mnom. Oh, come on, we're all, we're right on him. Guess not. Really, man? Really? This other guy caught up to them. Fuck it. Fucking hell. Ah, oh, they look so happy to see me. And I didn't I didn't actually manage to kill them all. So I don't I'm not sure if it works. But as like from what I saw, that's the only way to get rid of a faction, like... They just stay there for fucking ever. Okay, now we can maybe grab another guy. It's not fucked up already. Okay, that's a hundred. Get one more. Okay, where is this guy? 21 hours away. I think I'm gonna be able to, like, take Poros with him. Maybe. Just maybe. Save this too. Look, what? Why are they so happy to see you? What the fuck? And now they're not. We're gonna need to sell this for money, that's for sure. Let's see if I can catch this. Okay, too slow. Can 
Now we can kick their asses. Maybe we can drag the other guy in. I mean, I mean the faces and the eyes in this game are just fucking awful. But like, I've noticed that in the last couple of patches, they just... When you talk to them, they seem like happy to see you, you know? Which is fucking odd. Then once you tell them we're gonna kill them, they're, of course they're not anymore. It's so fucking off-putting when you see it. I, I, I don't understand. How the hell did they make the faces worse than in Warband? Like how, how is the fuck is that possible? Then again, we did have Mass Effect uh, Andromeda, right? We got a hundred troops more than them. So it should be doable. Roman is using a circle formation. You're no fucking Romans. Pieces of shit. Let's see, where can we abuse their stupidity? Probably up here. Actually, you don't want to make your infantry go into a shield wall. Because it's going to take them forever to get here. This guy's gonna aggro them for me, apparently. Yep. He's gonna suicide into them. So much for waiting him to get involved, right? Of their leaders, so they lose. Commercial is in a square for me. What the? Okay, apparently sometimes the the not the lasso, the 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 the, the thing you hold a horse by, bug out. Real fucking bad. Don't fuck up the formation now. So a couple enemy cav units. Uh, I would use the cav to flank the enemy, but doesn't really work. Okay, I'll let you see why. Look, what the, what the f... It's like, it's like they're fighter planes, you know? 
They just pass on by, like do a strafing run and just pace, pass off. You know, they do fuck all. You don't even kill that many troops. You do want to like move them manually, as far as I've seen. They actually do something. I basically use them as you would use them in Total War Realm, as a mob pop unit. When they start running away, or they're close to, you know, retreating or breaking. We could try that with snake skein skin. Oh shit, never mind. The skein skein formation, right? This mod should be called the Roman Civil War mod. Glitch, basically. Because, like, on the last playthrough, I was just fighting Romans and the Kuzites or the Asari. Nothing else. You know, that many losses, only 80. And most of those are from the other guy. That jumped in. Probably. That tower guy. That's gonna be bad because his army is gonna run away. Yep, it is. Shit. Usually their army is just this bad, run away. They don't stay with you. See what's gonna happen with him. Because we do need all the army so we can actually. Yeah. Look at that. That one's outside of us. And doesn't have a lord anymore. Let's dump the prisoners in here so we get more influence. Okay, 19, not bad. And we get a shitload of charm too. What the fuck are you looking at? Help the villagers, goddammit. Hours away. Seven. See if anyone is close by and has decent amount of troops. It's worth the cost. Kill to get her or him. I do want to wait for them to like get out of the uh, the city. Why am I why am I surprised that there's no troops in there?
Okay, now it's empty. Hopefully not, nothing's gonna stop me this time. Game's last words. Oh, there we go. Oh, there, yep. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. God damn it. Yeah, that drag all woman. Look at the fucking him. this one is doable it might be if I do this aha ease tactics <laughs> always win <laughs> You know what pisses me off? They got a better starting position, which is even worse. Uh, which which hill are we gonna die on? Oh yeah, I save scum all the all the fucking time because sometimes it's. Just bullshit. Get moving. Move. Arrows. I don't know how good this is gonna. You on a suicide mission? Yep. Cavalry. Onward. Forward. Advance. Arrows. Face that way. Uh, well, for people who want to roleplay, I think it's um, like a, it's not good. You know, you want to play an Iron Man, right? But since I do a lot of battles, all my playthroughs are just a battle after battle after fucking battle. Except in the beginning, of course. Motherfucker. If I lose a shitload of troops. Basically, can't do shit. Shitload of more troops on us. Yeah, this this probably ain't doable. But look at that! Like half of them are gonna bypass the infantry and just attack the archers. First part is they're still in like field wall formation while they're destroying my guys over there.
Can you come closer to the fucking arches? I mean, I guess that, you know, it's a good idea, right? Definitely shit. That's for sure. But again, I. Uh, how, no. How good do you want it to be? Because at a certain point, it's not fun. If it's too good, right? Look at that. Cav is all over the fucking place, not doing doing fuck all. Basically. This is basically why the AI loses most of the time when it's attacking. They're spread out all the fucking way. They just piecemeal their infantry or their troops into you. Can't kill one fucking guy. Maybe I shouldn't run into the crossfire of Pilum, right? Watchers worries me. Amount of care worries me too. Look at that. Jesus Christ. And they're charging in. Oh fuck. Quite good cav too. But then again, if you have a look at that, all that red. If you have a lot of watchers, you can easily take care of them. Look at that, they already got all run. 
This is another thing. When you tell them to move back, they turn their backs to the enemy. Might be a victory, but it nah. But it would cost me all my troops. That's something we want to do, right? Let's see, when was the last save? That's the question. 4 11, I think that's good. I want to grab myself at least one settlement. At least one. Which I don't gonna... Which I don't wanna fucking... Convert. Save its ass all the fucking time. So we do know what's gonna happen. So... I don't know if there's a good way to deal with it. Basically. Yeah, basically the uh, the other two armies are gonna deal with the Northern Empire. The Southern Empire is just gonna, you know, roam. Ro it. Ooh. Maybe I could grab enough people to actually. Know, have a bigger army than them let's see but that's 900 oh he fucked up he fucked up yes enough people so we can actually besiege it without getting harassed just maybe This that's 800 troops. Should be enough, right? Well, let's see. Yeah, so this uh, is still on the harder difficulty. Okay, there's no way we're gonna catch him. I don't know why I'm even trying. <laughs> Let's see if that army shows up again. I mean, I haven't got... Yes, it is. Hmm. Let's save. I think I can win this time. 
especially if I lower the difficulty. Look at that fucking face. A thousand versus 783. Well, this is their capital, right? I think Poros is their capital. And it's one of the richest city cities in the game, maybe? I don't know. We got it. We got the terrain. Except the fact that our... Uh, Our ally, our, our reinforcements are gonna spawn in front of us, in the thick of it. Shit, a lot of them already threw their pila. actually move them up to, to, so they pick that up nope never mind the fuck game Let's actually try a square. theory the archer should be doing a lot of work yeah since they're you know on their edges fuck off man i'm surveying the battlefield oh god i don't like the look of it yep The square seems to be working fine. As long as these guys don't move. Yeah. 
And I don't, I, this is one, one thing I don't understand. The, why do they shorten the formation? Like, tighten up always. No, no, not calm. Column formation. Keep your ground. <laughs> Make a scheme. Bowman, belt, arms like the bar. Raise your shield. In wet. Put it here, Raiders. Hear me. Messing up all my fucking buttons. Shit. Oh, yeah, I almost got me. Right, I forgot there about their cab force. See, they don't really follow you all that well. few meters behind and they get stuck uh, uh, they don't keep the formation with the, which is the biggest deal when they follow you they do they all bunch up like that's the biggest problem at least we lure some enemies away from the front line i guess I do need to keep my cab back. I don't want to amass a certain amount of cab at some point. Gee, look at that. Look at that. Oh, God. You had 100 cab? Well, maybe in well in vanilla, if you play the Kuzites, it's easier to get them. But like here in Rome, not really. And the problem is you need a lot of infantry as Rome. But you do need to sacrifice the spearmen, which you can turn into cav if you want a lot of infantry. So that's an issue. Plus you need horses, of course. Just do your fucking goddamn job, fuck's sakes. This is another thing. They don't aim at the at the enemies at the back, they aim at the enemies in front. Which they can shoot because we have infantry in the front, of course. Fire 
station. Get mounted. Horsemen. Now we got some horsemen. Indians. Uh, those are the ones uh, where the Gallic Empire is in this, right? That have the crossbowmen. Or the Swadians, I guess. In Warband. Now I'm dead. Even on the easiest difficult, let's see what the AI does. It actually wins. Look at that. Jesus Christ, we won. Oh. Here is hoping they don't have another army. Which they might. They piece them out now. Oh my fucking god. Fuck you, game. If the AI pieces them out. After all that. Yeah, the uh, the more tactics you ca you have, the more advantage you have in the auto calculations when when it comes to battle. Wait, can we cheese this? Can. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck all of it. I'm done for tonight. I've seen too much bullshit as is. Too much bullshit for now. Okay, so. Want, wanna watch more of this? Uh, it's up to YouTube. Get on Gilded. And thank you for watching. Hey, good morning, good day, good night. See you next time when I hopefully, hopefully, manage to get something and not get wrecked by the enemy.